Alright, so once again, something stops me from finishing this uh, vintage air install. So, I'm running a remote condenser. Normally, it's mount mounted to the condenser right here. But I'm going to be running an oil cooler and a tranny cooler. <clears throat> so, and now that I'm talking, actually, that goes on this side and this goes on that side. But anyways, um, I got to figure out how I'm going to mount these and run these lines before I do that remote condenser. Because I'm going to have to drill holes in the fire, in the radiator support to route the lines. So, I'm going to mount these up first. And then, I actually have the lines for the tranny cooler made already, so... I'm gonna run those um, because I have them they're already done and then yeah then I'll figure out how I'm gonna run that remote condenser but yeah uh, that's what I'm into today so back to it so I couldn't really find anywhere that I like to mount this so I made these brackets whoa not on this one so I just made it out of some anger iron that doesn't have a nut on it or a longer bolt it'll have a bolt like that on this side and i'll put a nut on it so basically it'll sit up i don't know if i can do this with one hand but these plates will mount up there So all I did was cut it out of a long piece of angle iron and a little flat bar. I don't know what the proper word for it is. Piece of steel that I had, damn it. And it'll put a hole on that side. I'll make um, a drill a hole on that side too. Somewhere right there so a bolt will go through it. And then I can mount the oil cooler on this side too. So. So we got the condenser in, um, which you can kind of see on the end of the last video. That's nothing, I'm not even going to show how that works, but it's got brackets and perfect instructions from Vintage Air, so if you need to know, just look at the instructions. So I try to line it up so it gets as much airflow as it can get, and then it's got a good amount of gap. I don't know if you can see it, but... Ugh. Got a cool amount of gap in between the two, just so there's an air pocket. I'm kind of worried about this bracket touching that because they'll transfer heat from one to the other right there. And I don't really want to do that, so I think I'm going to throw some a washer in there or something. Or I don't have any phenolic washers, but if you have them, then you should put them there. <laughs> uh, I might maybe put a piece of plastic washer something something i'm gonna come up with something to put in there so uh yeah back to it man I'm trying to get to the other one i might actually put these lines up first i'm not sure i'm not sure but yeah i just wanted to get you guys up to date yes sir back to it quick service announcement like subscribe comment share you know it gives me energy to do this a little bit of extra just filming it there's a, not a lot of knowledge out there, you feel me? And the little bit of knowledge I got, a lot of it came from YouTube. So thanks for the support. Like and subscribe. All right, enough with the commercial. All right, bye. So oil coolers mounted. Same way as the other one. So a good amount of distance between the cooler and the condenser. This side sucked it didn't line up so um, it's just mocked up I gotta take this back off to paint it so I'm not gonna tighten it up then I had a bolt that was too long so it would hit the radiator so I had to cut it shorter because I didn't have one the right size if you've ever had to recut a bolt and round the tip off you know it's not fun but it's done so this one is less over as I'd like, but it's dash 10 lines that are super fat. So 
you know, I'm gonna run a 90, even though I don't like 90s, but the 45 would push it way too over that way. So, yeah, I just I had to work with what I got, you know? So I'm gonna take this bracket off and paint it. And uh, I gotta cut this one still. So let me see that line. Just gotta cut that and yeah. All right, so we're gonna put these, mount the coolers up for the last time. They are done. Painted, brackets painted, everything. So I'm gonna mount them up and I'm gonna start measuring for these lines uh, for the oil cooler and the training cooler. So, finally, all mounted up. I'm gonna turn this around and let you guys check it out. It's all mounted up, ready to go. I painted all the all the heads of the bolts that were um, zinc anodized. I just painted them black because I hate seeing things through the grill, and I think it's too low for you to see those. So, and it's silver, so it works. But silver, gold, black is just too much going on. So, the only one I'm worried about really is the oil cooler because it has that bar is like right in the middle of the cooler. So you can see like. I mean it, but I think it's still got enough coverage and it, you don't really need a crazy oil cooler. It comes with the 6.0 factory in trucks and stuff. So I put it in and I'm gonna be running the turbo. So I figured, you know, if it came from the factory, include it. Yeah, that's it, it's back, it's all together. So now I'm gonna run these lines. Uh, that should be in the next one, I'll do the lines for both yeah thanks for the support like usual like comment subscribe help me out you know that stuff gives me energy to keep posting this stuff out so appreciate all the love all the old, old subscribers you know we're getting a couple new ones so we'll keep pumping keep spreading this love spreading this knowledge so back to it oh.